OK, I've been asked to do a worked example of Simpson's rule, so here we go, I've made one up. The first thing you do for any numerical integration question is draw a quick sketch. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't know what the graph looks like. Any old graph between the values of 1 and 2 will do. The purpose of the sketch is to be absolutely clear what x values you need in the table and what the width of the strip is going to be, and we call the width of the strip h. So, any old graph between 1 and 2, and it tells us very kindly there are five, strip, five ordinates and four strips. So the strips are probably the easiest way, place to start. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then what are the five ordinates? Well, they're the x values where I calculate y's. And for the mid ordinate, for the um, Simpson's rule, like the trapezium rule, we use the edges of the strips, not the middles. So you can see there are five x values. This must be 1.5, and the ones in between must be 1.25 and 1.75. So my x values are 1, 1.25, 1 1.5, 1 1.75, and 2. And my h, the width of a strip, is 0.25. OK, now I've got to calculate the y values. Well, this bit here is my equation for y. y equals e to the power x squared. So for the first one, it's e to the power 1 squared, which is e to the power of 1, which is just e. But after that, um, it probably is easier to work in decimals rather than in exact values. And in fact, the tidiest way to do that work is to use the table mode on your calculator. So if I go into mode, table, then the function I'm working out values of is e to the power x squared. And I want it starting with x equals 1, ending when x is 2, and with a step size of 0 0.25 and it goes straight to the table. And it is showing me five significant figures in each of these, so I can just copy those values into the table. So the first one is 2, whoops, 2.7182, and the next one is 4.7707, and 9.4877, and go down for the other two, it's then 21.38 and 54.598. e to the x squared is a very rapidly growing function. OK, once you've got your x and y values sorted out, you now need to use Simpson's rule. Now, you may have actually learnt how to, which, which values to multiply by 1 and 4 and 2. But for this one, it isn't a bad, idea, bad, bad idea to at least check in the formula book you're doing it right. So here's Simpson's rule in the formula book. It reminds us we've got to do a third of h times, and then y naught and y n are the first and last y values, and then four times y1 is the one after y naught. So this, this is four times all the odd, odd numbered values, starting with the second one after the one after the first one and then two times the values in between those. So in my table, this is going to be, and these are the ones that are going to be times one, and then the one, the second one is going to be the first times four, and that's going to be the last times four, and this one on its own is times two. So however you set this out, it's a third times eight, which is 0 0.25, and then we're going to be doing the 2.7182 plus the other one that's times 1 is 54.598 and then 4 times the 4 4 times the 4.7707 plus the 21.38 and plus 2 times, and it's just the, the 9.4877. I'm going to do that calculation, so go into ordinary mode on my calculator. Do that calculation, so a third times 0.25 times 2.7182 plus 
0.98 plus 4 times, open a bracket, with 4.7707 plus 21.38, close that bracket, plus 2 times 9.4877, close that, the big bracket, I think that's all the brackets closed, equals, and it's giving me an answer of 15.0745. But you normally round to three significant figures, whatever the question tells you, which is 15.1 to three significant figures. But I'm going to check this answer, because I've got one of these silver calculators. I can actually type in the integral as I see it there. So I'm going to integrate mode and type in, oh, you can see that a bit better, can't you? Type in e to the power x squared and then the limits of 1 and 2. Now because the graph increases so rapidly um, I'm not expecting exactly the same answer as I got but it should be there or thereabouts and it's coming up with just under 15. Now I got an answer of just over 15 that's good enough for me so I'm going to give that as my final answer.